I'll sit here on the field and I'll be working on it and people come by and honk the horn. And I just wave, I need somebody that knows that I'm here. And we had an infestation of gophers. And I killed, oh, 25 to 30 gophers and I hung them up on the backstop so that the kids could see me, see my, my kill. And so, hence my name, Coach Killer, not for my competitors, that's for killing gophers. Did a lot with Little League, probably spent at least 20 years, maybe 25 years in Little League. Love to teach, love the game, love to teach it to kids. I get involved not just in, in helping the kids, I've been involved in actually doing the facilities. I've worked on every facility in this town. The one experience that I brag about, my 15 minutes of fame with Bruce Hurst, that did get drafted, number one by Boston, and that's rewarding, but not any more rewarding than somebody who, who does come up to you and say, you know, you changed my life. I don't think it's the physical talent. We do teach them some things. And we do bring out good in them, but I think, again, the mental part is the most important part, learning to cope with life. There's a bonding, there's a unsung fraternity or whatever you want to call it that people have played here, know they played in a great program, they know they were loved. As far as being in Southern Utah, gosh, I mean, look at this valley, look at this, look around your blue sky, warm weather, the smell of cut grass, I mean, that's baseball. This community just steps up. It doesn't matter what it is, what sport it is, they're just generous. Anything you need in terms of money to go to a tournament, money to have the kids be able to stay in motels, all those kinds of things, they step up the plate. I'm Coach Kent Garrett, and I bank on Southern Utah.